The Committee on the Future Economy calls for all of us to be future ready. Mm -hmm. How can each of us respond to this call? What it means for us as individuals is to stay open, keep learning and to have that spirit to try new things, explore and, and to innovate. And for enterprises, it's no longer business as usual. They will have to think about how they can better compete and how they can build new and deep capabilities. I would probably be a little bit more blunt to say that if the firms or companies do not upgrade or innovate, the market will take care of them. I mean, that's the realities of the world. You need to be hungry to learn and want to change. Stop saying, oh, this is a problem. Oh, yeah, why the government not fixing? You know, oh, yeah, blame somebody else. Why don't you just say, look, this is a great opportunity and I'm going to solve it first. I'm going to get groups of people that care just as much as I do. To me, the future is not destiny. The future is what you make it. If anything, I think the future economy is about us coming together and deciding what is it that we want to make and collaborating to get it done. Trade associations can bring the businesses in the same industry together to discuss the common challenges, address operations of uh, marketing, of uh, management, discuss opportunities for upgrading, and to look at you know, where the new markets could be. I think there is value in some of the businesses working together to uh, scale new heights. The staff comes together. Similarly, if we want impact for the whole economy, then all of us, businesses, as unions, as workers, as government need to come together to make that big change happen. But at the same time, I think we have to take the opportunity to really develop capabilities for the medium to long term. And this means investing in skills, building innovative capacity and internationalization. NUS has a NUS Overseas College where they send students to the innovation hubs of the world. I think we ought to expand that program, involve all the universities and set up learning centres so that our students from a very early age can get out to the world, interact with people from all over, understand the changes that are taking place and where are the opportunities and the challenges. That would be great for learning. I think we need to realise that you're not competing against fellow Singaporeans, you're competing against global players who are globally hungry. Right from the outset, it's a, it's a mindset issue. There's really nothing stopping any company over here to reach out to the global market today. When we talk about economic growth, it's not just growth for its own sake, but really how that growth translates into more opportunities for our people, opportunities to develop themselves more fully and making ourselves relevant 